Qualcomm Punch. Hello everyone, it's your favorite kind of punch, Mr. Falcon Punch 996, back for you guys another video as well as participate in the last and final day of anime, the 12th day of anime. But before I get on with one moment we'll be talking about on this final day of anime, allow me to say two things. One, Merry Christmas to all my subscribers as well as viewers. And also allow me to go over the previous days of anime. So for day one, I was talking about the latest JoJo's Bizarre Adventure moment. When you know Joe Joe Star, you know, just wasted straights with a Tommy gun. Day two, I was talking about that scene in episode five of Fully Cooly between the fight with that gigantic cam robot and Haruko and Nauda. Day three, talking about Uvogan, you know, just destroying mafia people. Day four, I talked about you know Luffy doing the Red Hawk. Day five, you know, I talked about Doro Hidoro, you know, go out and go read Doro Hidoro. Day six, I was talking about Blood Lad and how Staz powered up, which is a badass and really funny moment as well. Day seven, I talked about you know Gintama returning in the Kintama arc, since that arc is awesome. Day eight, I talked about Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood and the scene where everyone was fighting against Father, since that scene was awesome. Day nine and ten, I talked about Hajime and Ippo, you know Ippo versus Sendo. And day ten, I talked about you know Berserk, since Berserk is awesome. In day 11, I talked about One Punch Man. So for day 12, I'm gonna be talking about when I discovered Yuasa Misaki, who is one of my favorite anime directors in the anime business today, since this dude's work in anime is just amazing. Like, I love his animes. They're just simply awesome. They all have very unique art styles, and they're all just so original, so unique, and it's just something you don't really see that much in anime today which is what I really like about Yuasa Misaki. And also, a lot of his animes are very surreal, and you're probably gonna hear that word a lot when I'm describing this guy's work, since surreal is the only word you could really put his work into, because if you watch his animes, you probably know what I'm talking about. He's just, he's the master at being surreal. And when I first got into his work, I first watched his kind of newest anime that he directed and I think wrote as well and that is Titanic Galaxy which is one of my favorite animes of all time and it's kind of like the anime version of Groundhog Day only more surreal has a very unique art style and it was just a blast I had fun with that anime really enjoyed it I mean the subtitles went by a little too fast because everyone talks like lightning quick in the anime but still he was just super enjoyable and I highly recommend it plus its opening is badass but that aside, the next anime I watched of his was his directorial debut as an anime director, and that was his movie, Mind Game, which I actually do plan on reviewing sometime soon since I do have the script ready for it. And that movie was really surreal, had a really great concept, loved the animation for it. You know, like it had some animation milestones in that movie. Like the scene where Nishi meets God. Amazing. Okay, it's amazing. Plus, that movie delivers the message of, you know, living life to its fullest and never giving up the best. Since if you watch the anime movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. After that, I watched uh, Kema Muzume. I pronounced that name wrong. I bet you I did. I probably butchered the name. But it's English translation for that anime is Beast Claw. And it's basically a romantic drama between a uh, swordsman who is a demon slayer and a demon. And it was really great. It had a really surreal ending, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but still it was awesome. Kind of a unique art style. There's times where it kind of bordered being crappy and being very unique, but still it's a very enjoyable anime. And then the last anime of his I watched was Kaiba, which has a very, very retro art style. Also very surreal. It has a wonderful sci-fi concept. And its concept with memories is absolutely amazing. And it was very beautiful. And also has a very beautiful opening and ending. He's also done a couple other animes that I have not seen yet and his newest anime, you probably heard of it, it was like that Kickstarter project called Kick Heart which was basically like a relationship between a wrestler who is a masochist and a female wrestler who is a sadistic uh, person who's also a nun by day. So yeah, as you can tell from everything I basically described to you, 
Yuasa Masaki is a very surreal guy. He makes very surreal animes, but they're all awesome, all have unique art styles, and they're just a blast to watch. And I highly recommend all of his animes to you, since they're just awesome. And even though I highly recommend it, I'm probably sure most of you are not going to like it, because like I said, this dude's really surreal. And not that many people in the anime community are into surreal things, but if you're up to, you know, watching something different, unique, surreal, with very awesome art styles, I highly recommend anything done by Yuasa, Yuasa Misaki, since he does a very awesome job, which is why he's one of my personal favorite anime directors. And yeah, anyways, I'm Mr. Falcon Punch 996. Merry Christmas to all of you, and have a wonderful New Year. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, subscribe to my backup channel, Mr. Falcon Punch 9000. If you haven't done any of that yet, I'll Falcon Punch you in the face, so you better do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also, if you haven't already, you know, ask me questions for the Q&A for like, which is my 100 sub special.